Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Jay Madden. This video is being made roughly two years since initially setting up this tank and currently the tank is in my opinion the best it has been within those two years. Those of you that have seen my older videos cataloging the development of this system know exactly what I'm talking about and for those of you that don't you got some free time check them out see what this tank was and where it came from you know I look back and I'm still amazed by the progress of it since the last video some of the changes that have occurred is the anemones are looking much much better a lot of the coloration of the corals has come back as far as the intensity of the color and the growth is just off the charts as far as the SPS go along with uh, the majority of the pallies that are in the systems you know and your zoanthids. Go ahead and give you guys a quick run through on the corals let you kind of see the growth. It's also going to be a video for me to document um, how everything looks so I can reflect back um, you know when I'm further down the road. Okay first thing you see over here is the rose bubble tip anemone with the maroon clown some of you may remember when this maroon clown was in here when it was very very small he has definitely grown since I got him uh, one of the great things is that he stays in his anemone over here while the perks stay over in their anemone on the exact opposite side of the tank I haven't seen any clashing between the clownfish though they do interact with each other from time to time but they're all happy and coexisting just fine Pulsing Xenia is growing great as usual, lots of replication going on. And here in the frame you can see the little Tamingi Tang and he's starting to grow up. Very healthy, vivid colors. And also the Yellow Tang, who has grown quite a bit within the last six months. Fat and healthy, great looking fish. Over here in the bottom corner here, I'm not sure why you can see it, it's coming out pretty good, is and Acan Echinata. You guys haven't seen this for a while, but it's just been kind of sitting over here behind the scenes and it's doing really well. Great coloration. It has some damage from the past due to GSP rubbing up against it, but all that is since gone and there's new heads growing on it, so that piece is really doing well. And of course, here's some GSP that my tank is known for growing like a weed. And up here you can see on the overflow box the other portion of the GSP all from the original same piece that I bought almost two years ago as far as the SPS goes there's some really good growth happening Let's see if I can get a good shot of it for you here so here we are during the day the lights have been on for roughly three hours or so and the polyp extension of this uh, Acropora miliopora is amazing. Um, lots of new growth, you can tell by the white tips, rapid growth occurring there. Moving over here, we have another miliopora, and this one is a bluish color, and this one is fairly new addition to the system. Been in here maybe a couple weeks now or so, and it's doing awesome. Notice the polyp extension equally is great. Uh, not a lot of flow happening right now as the MP10s are ramping down uh, during their program. One of the uh, SPS that aren't doing as well, bringing the focus there, you can see on the left the white tips on it. That's not new growth, it's actually receding and I've been trimming it and it just has been continuing to uh, recede on me, uh, so hopefully I can save it. Go ahead and move around to the front and get you a shot here of the other SPS. Bring them into frame. Okay. In the bottom you have the red plant from ORA. And this particular frag has been encrusting like crazy over the last couple of weeks onto this rock. It's looking awesome. 
looking back at some older videos and the amount of spread is just ridiculous so hopefully it'll start to branch out soon and the ballet green slimer looking great uh, awesome polyp extension as you can see glowing bright and green almost as bright as the GSP on the overflow in the back now this monster over here is what I'm calling it you know just uh, about seven months or so ago this particular coral was just a little one inch frag now it's turned into quite the colony and I'm really liking it pull back a little bit here so you can see it just growing mad crazy very fast grower go ahead and speed things up here a little bit um, this was actually the sponge odes as you can see there with the white pieces on it it fell behind here and I was unable to retrieve it but it still has some polyps alive so we'll see if that decides to grow the cholestria is looking really good huge polyps starting to split have a large feather duster over here recently added to the system and we have a little uh, rock over here that has some different colored zoanthids on it some superman monty along with a really neat looking chalice all of these zoos are starting to multiply as well and over here there's the other chalice down here in the bottom corner and these Duncans, which are the uh, non-branching form, have just become a totally different coral uh, within the last few months. And of course a little cabbage leather down here. Acan's doing really good. Um, one of the only surviving pieces. Let's see if I can get the exposure here right. Down here is the Hawking's Enconata. Um, when I had it higher up in the tank, it browned out, but since sitting down here, it's taken on a very rich green color, and all of the new growth has blue tips. So I'm really pleased with this coral. Next to it is the uh, purple Valida, if I can get the exposure right. You can kind of see it. Yeah, there you go. The, uh, the purple and the new growth is kind of green, and there's some blue in it, so it's just a really cool looking little frag that's doing very well down here on the sand bed underneath this four bulb T5 fixture. And of course the Palifoa Grandis are back from the 29 gallon. Uh, they weren't doing too good in there so here they are and they're starting to return to their former glory. The red mushrooms are doing good multiplying. The uh, candy canes up on the right doing awesome. Lots of splitting occurring and this uh, particular lobophilia is doing outstanding, looking really good. The Wells of Philly radiata is looking big and fat and happy as usual. And down here we've got a nice little coral. This here is actually a plate coral that died and sprouted three baby plates on top of it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, you can see some of the skeleton to the right of it there, of the original, uh, but now there's three baby plates or fungia, whichever you want to call them. The orange torch is looking amazing now, as you remember from the previous video, it was so washed out, almost transparent, definitely lacking orange pigmentation in the zooxanthellae, and it's looking great, I'm very pleased with it. This rock has just been going nuts with these pallies growing like crazy and the Duncans have been just growing ridiculous starting to branch out multiple smaller heads underneath that are starting to grow and get large the hammer is looking awesome can't complain with that starting to get its richer color back uh, the uh, frog spawn up top and in the middle here both looking exceptionally great. The lavender favia has just been growing like crazy. I mean, just new heads splitting, becoming more dome shaped. I may raise it up a little bit to help promote it become round, so we'll, we'll see what I do with that. 
all the mushrooms down here are just multiplying like crazy. I counted them the other day and there was like 23 or so. One of the things that recently happened that I can't explain is that my clams both died. Well, I wouldn't say they just died, but I was out of town for a week or so and I came back to the smaller clam, which was the, uh, the maxima being eaten and then within a day the uh, other clam was being consumed within the night by bristle worms and my cleanup crew and the next morning just a bare shell as you see here and the perks are really happy um, not exhibiting any mating behavior but they are fat and healthy and the other cholestria down here in the corner this coral is sort of a mystery to me. I'm not sure of what type of species it is specifically because it's not branching. It's actually growing from one location with all these polyps and starting to kind of dome out. Uh, the polyps certainly do resemble a cholestria of some sort, but it's not a branching form as far as I can tell now. And I've had this coral for quite some time bring you around here really quick show you how the anemones look from this side and as you can see all four of them are just looking absolutely healthy and happy go ahead and leave you guys with a quick full tank shot of the system. Hope you guys enjoyed this update at the 24 month mark of the system. Thanks for watching. Take care and enjoy your tanks.